everyone. Good morning. Welcome back. Makeup of the day. Get ready with me on Thursday, December 8th. 847. Running a little early. Not too early. I'm really shiny or glowy. That's between uh I got a sample under that uh oh my god, what is it? Valentino <laughs> primer. Yeah, it's it's glowy. I'll give it that. All right, since today is day eight of 31 Days of Beauty, we got some H's. Let's play with some Hourglass and some Huda. I actually have some other brands, but we'll keep those for later because I still will do a whole video on this stuff. <laughs> uh, Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I think this dries pretty quickly if I remember right. Uh, I'm in light beige. And I think this is either you need the tiniest amount or it just keeps going. I'm going to go with one and find out from there. Uh, Real Techniques brush. Well, I guess you only need the one. <laughs> one is covering it. They're covering it. They're enough for me. Tiny little bit more. Everyone's having a good week. So far, so good here. Crazy weather as usual. It was like 50 degrees last night. So I open up the bedroom window, let some air in. And I'm glad I shut it because it's like 30 something degrees this morning. I had turned the heat way back down. I'm like, um, this morning, I'm like, oh, let's put you back on. Warm this house back up a little bit. Crazy winter weather. Don't worry, I'll be back again tonight. Seven-ish, somewhere in there, 6.30, never know. Talk about brands that start with the letter H. Did I skip that all over me? Yes, I did. I'm going to go with one pump. It's good enough for me. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to put some eye, uh, Hourglass Eye Primer. Put that on while we're going along here. Getting there, getting there. All right, Hourglass. Let's choose the bronzer from the Elephant palette. It's got an Ulta brush here. And I did end up doing an Ulta order last night. Get those Glamnetic nails and some other goodies, some Wet n Wild, some Elf. <laughs> Might be a couple surprises in there. You never know. You never know what I would pick up. <laughs> well, while I got it open. I'm also using the blush too. I'm just gonna go into both of them. <laughs> One and done. And I ordered Gina's final Christmas present last night from Selfridges. Because <laughs> I couldn't find it around here. 
And of course, I grabbed myself a little something. Of course. Fun little set. Like another little set with a bunch of little items. It'll be fun. It's not an advent calendar. But it'll be fun. That and that out of the way. I'll do highlighter after. I'm going to use the Huda Rose Quartz Palette. Because I can. <laughs> oh, I didn't do eyebrows, did I? I don't know I'm looking at them. background too. I'll do that before I leave. <laughs> I probably haven't noticed because the other nails are so short. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'm not noticing that I'm missing it. Until I just saw it in the mirror again. <laughs> okay. Back to the Huda palette. I'm going to this one here. A light pink. I've used this palette on here. I don't know. I'm bringing it. There we go. I'm pretty sure I've used this palette before. Wouldn't surprise me if I haven't used it. <laughs> I've never been so glad to actually have backups of some of my Huda stuff <laughs> after losing all my pictures. Or not being able to find them, I should say. They're, they're, they're in a cloud somewhere. Where that cloud is, I don't know. It's floating around somewhere. Hopefully today I'll have some sunlight. Looking good so far, well, I might be able to get some pictures. Bring that up here. A little higher. Try to see if there's a brow bone in here. Kind of close enough. I'm going to go with this light shade right here. Oh, what color am I going to do on the lid? What do I got in here? What is this? I think that's a topper. It's a topper, but it's pretty. Alright. Yeah, I got enough on my eyelid. It'll kind of... I'm going to use the uh, Intensify Eyes from Pat McGrath. Sparkly sucker on here. It's the one in the bottom row called Moon something. Moon Magic. Right there. It's on my hand, so. It's one of those kind of flaky ones. I'm just going to kind of push my finger into it and hope for the best. Here. This reminds me of that Gimme Glow shade that I was playing with last night. Yeah, I think it looks like it's on. I'm going to do that little trick from Shay. That girl Shay. Or she kind of wet the brush after she put on shades like this. Just see what happens. It's just a flat synthetic brush. She was putting it over shades like this to like get them to calm down. Oh, 
fall out in the weirdest spot. So weird. So weird. It worked. I need a liner brush. Um, I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna mix this brown and this kind of pink together. See what happens. First, then go over it with the pink. There you go. And I'm just going over the brown with that pink shade. Just mutes it down a little bit. That's not as harsh where the shade is this. What's this do? Oh, that's metallic. Now I shoot for that on the inner corner. Uh, do I have anything that's that color? Champagne. Oh, remember, I can't mess around in the mornings. Uh, NYX. Epic Wear. Rose Gold. Close enough. Yeah. Definitely close enough. I can barely see the big mirror. Going in that shade. Oh God. Energized. Oh yeah, there it is. A little bit of flaky action going on, that's alright. Who just got all these crazy textures as we know? Which is fine. a mess at the same time. <laughs> One crazy mess over here as you can see on the other corner. Right. Put it on my hand, do my little hand trick. center on you guys sorry uh liner gonna go with the huda double ended one here one side is liquid which i don't want <laughs> the other side is regular pencil tight line first I had an hourglass eyeliner, I just couldn't find it this morning. I know I have one somewhere. Didn't feel like hunt hunting through the 300 eyeliners. And I do like Huda's mascara and hourglasses, I just don't have any open. I'm not opening another one. <laughs> not opening another mascara. Uh, Lancome Grandiose Mascara. This thing's already heating up at only 15 minutes. It's worse than a minute.
is another favorite mascara of mine. I love how the brush is all bent and everything. But even the bristles on this tinier brush grab incredibly well. This is one of those that you grab when they're like half off to try it. It does give you great lashes. Pink popping out there. It's all right. That's all right. All right. Eyes. Simple, easy, as usual. Uh, hourglass stick highlighter in rose gold flash. The little triangly ones. Don't worry, I'm putting powder over the top. Not that you were worried. <laughs> so weird little triangle. I remember correctly, Hourglass kind of killed it with these highlighters and these big palettes, so I choose one of those. What do we got here? Finishing, finishing. Strobe powder is number three. All right. Strobe powder. Brush here. Brush. A uh, little Zoeva brush. It's the mini one. On there, it looks pretty bright. See, so I'm looking that bright over here. God, is it looking a cast? I hope not. Yeah, well, the mask on anyway. Yes, I still mask. <laughs> I know plenty of my other ladies do too. Hey, I don't want the flu. I don't want RSV or COVID. So I will keep wearing my mask like a good girl. Come here. I'll get, I'll get you going. Alright. Lippy, hourglass. Where is it? In front of me. Uh this is called At Dawn. Just uh easy to wear. Like I say, if you could ever grab these at like discounts, grab them. Beautiful lipsticks. And they have really damn good lasting power. <clears throat> Again, considering what you're doing with your lips is different than what I may be doing with mine. Come on, and the packaging is kick-ass. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, my, my hair's probably stuck now from I had it wet. <laughs> there you go. Hourglass and a little hoot be hoot beauty See you later tonight for uh, the H's. See y'all then. Love y'all. Bye.